Hey guys, Bulls here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're flying my, our, our favorite airline, Lamonde Airlines. Nah, dude, I'm just kidding. We're flying German jets. Probably, it's a low cost carrier off the Lamonde brand. We'll be using trying them and see how horrific it is. Now, before we begin, please sky Davis content every single day, and I appreciate it. Only small percent your active stuff. See you in here. Subscribe. Also, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you like the video, we can get to more people across the community. Otherwise, let's get to it. So we just check in using the famous self check-in system. We got our economy, which is the only uh, today you find the A320 Neo, and yeah, guys, we're fine out of. I believe this is Zurich. This test has to be Zurich, right? So let's go ahead and get through security. That was awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and get through the ticket system, sir. No, no, no. We're gonna get stuck here. We're gonna get stuck here because of you. Come on. Come on, get through. Come on. Come on, there we go. Okay. Oh, you. Are you. I, 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 thought, I thought you were smart. I thought you were really smart. Okay. I guess we gotta go through that one. Alright, so let's go ahead and. I guess look at what I look like. Awesome. And I believe they will open up. There we go. Unlike that guy who doesn't know how technology works. Do you live in the 1800s, boy? Oh! Anyway, let's go ahead and explore Zurich Airport. Over here, we have a nice little fountain area with a, I guess, like a spike ball kind of thing. We have the Orbis Lounge, only available to premium economy and up. This is a very large airport, so we're going to have to look at stuff. We have Air India, Air Asia. Oh. Oh, no. What happened to Air Asia? Um, <laughs> well, we have a Burger King. Over here, we have the chicken fries and all that stuff. If you come over here, we have uh, toiletries, so we do, if we're going to go ahead, and if you want to use the restroom, go ahead. If you want to get a magazine, you can press on that, and if you want to get a sleeping kit, you can click on that. And if you come over here, we have some extra seating in gate uh, one. Now, the, let's go ahead and visit the right side. Now, if we come over here, we have... The same billboard, except Air Asia X is still <laughs> missing. <laughs> oh boy, I hope they're okay. Uh, let's go here. We have Epic sa Salty Pretzels. I would say Epic Pretzels. We're going home and meet this guy over here. Where's my, where's my uh, pretzels? Sir, where's my pretzels, dude? My pretzels. Okay, uh, over here we have a, a actual person doing the tea. You can get tea, baguettes. We have pain, uh, chocolate, breadsticks. Over here, we have a coffee station and more seating. We have a magazine stuff. We have a, uh, that's a, uh, what's it called? A vending machine. So, we, does it work? Does it work? Yo, it actually works. Jeez. And that's basically it. Yeah, um, what's this? Robux machine, ticks machine. Uh, you know how outdated it is. But yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, the airport is a really nice airport. It's, it's well designed. Um, some downgrades with this. I don't like some of the stuff here that honestly doesn't make sense. The pretzels were a bummer. I think this is another lounge, right? Yeah, this is the Eden Lounge. Available to only business class and first class, so that's removing premium Let's go ahead and try to look at those. Like, that's what the lounge looks like on that side. If we go over here. Okay. Um. Da -da -da -da. And then if you're over here, you have another lounge. That's, that's basically it. I honestly do like the airport. The airport has this solid design that actually works for them. I'm going to give the airport a 4.5 out of 5. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys for today's German jet flight. I'm really excited. I'll see you guys in boarding. Well, folks, we are officially boarding for today's German jet flight. I assure you that it's going to be a graceful flight. <laughs> no, uh, but we're going to be boarding in this very pushed and whooshed. I, I don't know if that's a word, folks. <laughs> well, I guess we'll be uh, getting through the gate, so let's get through the gate. Awesome, so we're gonna have to follow the big blue path. Today we're flying the Airbus A320 Neo with German jet. Apparently there's only one aircraft being used today. Interesting. So let's go ahead and board today's uh, German jet flight. German jet flights are only economy used. Uh, not economy used, like economy um, economy aircraft only. If you enter the cars, you will be banned forever. Yes, don't go in the cars, fellas. Don't go in the cars, fellas. All right, so let's go ahead. The aircraft is in a 2-2 configuration on the Boeing. That's a Boeing 737, the A320, with very 
very minimum legroom. You can kind of see if I like zoom out, look how much space I get. I mean, it might be just like on the seat, but like if I was spending like 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 a little L, you would be touching the back of the seat. And anyway, the seat looks like this. You have a nice little uh, pouch with a safety card, snack list, and a magazine. We have a tray table that doesn't work. It's like laughable and a not that wide seat with uh, German jet. Uh, I don't. Uh, it's very cramped. I think you on, we can all agree that German jet seats well, is like a budget carrier, and budget carriers like to cramp people inside your seat. Otherwise, I do like the uh, the seat design is okay. It's it's solid. Uh, I don't care really about legroom in Roblox because I'm not feeling it. So I'm gonna have to give the seat a three. Now, the infotainment germ jet is a budget carrier, meaning there's no infotainment, meaning the real realism is there, so we're going to have to give them a 4. So, 4.5, 3, 4. You would get a score of 11.5 for German jet. I'll see you guys with a time lapse all the way to takeoff. Let's go. Alright guys, we have officially starting our takeoff roll, and just in case if we need to, you know, have a little bit of some upbringing during this flight, which can certainly happen, we got ourselves a barf bag. Get ready for the landings, folks. <laughs> well, we've officially taken off right now on the A320 knee, almost a tail strike, almost a tail strike. Not surprising, let's see the gear animation of this uh, aircraft, very nice. And yeah, that's basically it. Right, let's go ahead and I'll see you guys at cruise. See ya. Alright guys, so welcome to cruise. We have our in flight menu. We have potato, blank, and chocolate pie, cornflakes, and milk, and bread and fruits. And a vegetarian option with mini cookies. And lasagna and vanilla donut. I think we'll take the lasagna and uh, vanilla donut. And let's go ahead and look at the drink menu. It comes with a choice of drink. I'm going to go ahead and take the cherry juice because why not? So let's go ahead and wait for the PM. No wonder, but I'm still waiting for my meal, mate. <laughs> Ouch. Are you joking? No, I'm not, I'm not about to crash, but I didn't get served. <laughs> what? What? I was expecting to get a PM and then I don't get served. What a joke. Oh, uh, we're not going to talk about the crash. We're going to talk about how I didn't get syrup. Come on. Come on. I mean, it's a budget carry. What can you expect? So, unfortunately, to get the food slash drink, zero. And the crew, a zero. Eh, maybe a one. They were funny. Um, I don't know. That That's disappointing. I mean, let's see how many people also didn't get their meal. Let's see, Mario Island, Mama help me, Selfish, LOL, I need the FAA, okay, nobody didn't get, oh, maybe it's just me, I guess so, but 1, 12.5 out of 30, I'll see you guys with approach to landing, let's go. Alright guys, we are landing in five, four, this is not gonna be gracefully, three, two, one, and... Ah! Ah! Ouch, I mean, it's kind of butter. It's, it's, the, 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 the Helsinki, welcome to Helsinki. Um, that's not that butter. I mean, maybe initially, and then when you slam the front gear, that ain't working for you. Landing, I'm gonna give you a 1.5. Final score for German Jet, 14 out of 30. 
If they didn't, if I was gonna give them actually an above average score, honestly, a C at best. But if you don't serve me, and if you don't even come out to me and hey, I want to get served, I didn't get anything. Seriously. But yeah, 14 out of 30. I'll see you guys at the gate. That's what you get when you're on flying German jet. <laughs>